YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Josh here, back with another haircut tutorial. And on this video, I'm gonna be doing a clean 360 wave taper. This guy has stupid waves, you know, the ones that wrap around the head. So the cut was fire, you know, the waves just set it off and it was super clean and crispy. So let's get right into this haircut. YouTube, what's up, what's up? And as you can see, my boy got those 360 waves. It's looking nice. So in his haircut, I'm going to be giving him a taper, like I said in the beginning of this video. So let's get right into it. So we're going to start this haircut off by combing through his hair to lift up the hair off his scalp. So we can have a better cut down process when we're going over it with our guard. So my client wanted a number two on top. So right now I have my number two on with it all the way closed, going with the grain. And I'm cutting in the same direction as he would brush his waves. And to touch back on when I said I was cutting his hair with the same way he brushes his waves is because I don't want to cut any uh, spots in his hair or mess up his wave pattern. So right here I'm going to be setting in my ball line with my Babyliss Gold FX trimmers, putting in like an arch. And we're going to set our first guideline in with my wild magic clips with the clipper all the way open going up about half an inch. So right here I close my clipper halfway and I'm starting under the line and flicking to the line to get that line out. So our next step in the fade is with my wild magic clips with the number one guard with it all the way open going up about half an inch. So right after I use my number one guard all the way open, I always come back with it closed to soften that line up so I can come back with my half guard. So right here I have my half guard on and I'm coming behind that one closed, flicking that line out. So right now I'm going to start my fading down technique. I'm going to start with my three guard, which is going to be the biggest guard in this fade. So right after using my number three guard, I'm going to come back with my number two guard and I'm going to drop about half an inch lower as I'm fading down. Right after the number two guard, I'm gonna grab my one and a half guard and do the same thing, coming right under the two and dropping down a little bit lower. And just to finish this fade off, I'm gonna come back with my one guard open again, even though we already did that. Right now we're gonna be doing some detailing and by using this again, we're just basically cleaning up the area that we started with, the one with. And usually when I'm uh, getting to the top of a fade, I like using clipper over comb because it helps me keep like the thickness, but it helps me blend without cutting it too high. And right here, I'm just using the cornering technique. It's basically like thinning shears just to thin out that top line. So right now we're on the neck taper and the first guideline is going to be our ball line which I'm going to use my Babbler Skeleton FX trimmers to set that in. Our next guideline is going to be with the clipper all the way open using my magic clips going up about half an inch. Right here I have my magic clips halfway closed, starting under the line and flicking up to the line just to get that line out that we just created. Our next step on the next taper is with my wall magic clips with it all the way open going up about half an inch. My next step into getting this line out is to come back with it all the way closed with the one guard to soften the line up to come back with the half guard. And as you can see right here, I have my half guard on and I'm just slowly working this line out. So right here, I had to take my guard off and do a little cleanup work um, because I had a hard time with the half guard getting that line out. So right here, once again, I'm going to be doing my fading down technique. So I have my number three guard on and I'm going up and just flicking out, softening up the guideline that we're working on taking out. So right here I have my number two guard on, 
coming right behind the number three guard and I'm just slowly making this line disappear. So right after the number two guard, I come with my one and a half guard and I just step down about another half an inch in this fade, flicking at that line to soften it up. And like I said, I always come back with that one guard open again just to clean up that area that we started with. And like I said, I always like to come with clipper over comb at the top of my fakes just to blend it in better um, without having to use guards to prevent pushing the fade up too high. So we're on the other side of the taper and we're going to start our ball line off with my Babyliss Gold Effects Trimmers setting in that ball line and I'm making an arch shape again. And the next step in this taper is with my wall magic clips with the with the clipper all the way open going up about half an inch following the same exact shape and right here i have my wall magic clips halfway open flicking that line out and my next step in this fade is with the wall magic clips with my number one guard with it all the way open going up about half an inch following the same shape and like I always say, come back with the uh, one guard all the way close to soften the line up for the half guard. So right here I have my half guard on, just flicking that line up. So once again, I'm going to start my fading down technique using my number three guard and just walking down in the fade. So right here I grab my number two guard just to come behind that number three guard to soften the lineup and I'm dropping down about half an inch. And coming right behind that two I have my one and a half guard on fading right into the two just to soften the lineup as we walk down. And like I say, I always throw that one guard on with it open just to do some cleanup. Right now, I'm just going over the top. And now I'm going to be going into the fade just to clean it up a little bit more. So right here, I'm going to be taking my one guard with it all the way open. I'm going across this hairline to lay it down to get it to not sit up and lift up. So right here we're going to start this hairline with using my Babyliss Gold Effects trimmers so I'll let you guys watch. This lineup is coming out super crispy. Wait till I get to the neck line. So right here, I'm just going to be cleaning up his face and just shaping up his mustache and everything. So right here, I'm going to be applying some enhancements to his hairline just to make it pop some more. And I like to line up the enhancements before I apply the holding spray just because all the extra residue of enhancements on the hairline gets real messy.
Right here I'm going to be applying the holding spray and just drying it off to get it to lock in real good. After applying the holding spray, I always like to come back and just line it up just to freshen everything up and make everything crispy. So right here I'm going to be using my Babyliss Gold Shaver. And right here I'm just cleaning up his eyebrows a little bit. They're real wild. This is a super, super, super crispy, clean, faded, taper fade. No doubt. YouTube, this is the cut. Let me know what you guys think about this cut in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget that you can follow me on instagram at josh x barber as seen on the top of this video and it's your boy josh and i'm out